you guys and welcome back to my channel so as promised I have worked on my lighting and my backdrop and I hope this looks a lot better to y'all definitely let me know down in the comments what y'all think so today um, I just want to give y'all like a bright random look I used my 3502 because you know oldie but giddy it's really not old it's kind of brand new but I've used it a long time ago and it's been a while but I'm having issues, so if this look is messy, I'm really sorry, y'all. I, like, destroyed my wrist at CrossFit, so blending hurts really bad. So I just wanted to be sure I got a video up. I got to talk to you guys, do a little makeup. Hopefully, if y'all decide to recreate this, y'all do much better than I did today because I am slacking. But I digress. And this is what I have for you today. It is supposed to be a super smoky, all matte red cut crease, which, you know, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's it. We're just going to do a quick tutorial, a little bit of an outro, and we are going to be done for today. Hopefully, I should have some really good stuff coming for y'all next week and the week after. I should be getting some new products in soon. I'm going to try some new techniques and maybe post some, like, how-to videos instead of just tutorials. So that is it for this intro. I'm going to go ahead and give y'all y'all's tutorial and I hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so I'm just going to dip into this first color right here. It's called Universal and I love that because that is what I love to start out with in my crease every time I use this palette. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and go into this color down here. This is called Fawn, and that's just going to deepen up my crease a little bit. Okay, so we are going to deepen this up even more and go into this color right here. This is called Halo, and we are going to use it mostly in the outer edge, but kind of all over the crease. Okay, guys, so we're going to step it up one more color and go into this one. This is Brave. And we're going to do the same thing with it and try to really darken this crease up. Alright, so we are going to be very brave today, and we are going to go into In The Zone, and I'm going to try to be really careful with this, but I'm going to use it <clears throat> to make this crease as dark as I can. Okay guys, so <clears throat> I wanted to do a mostly matte look today. So we're going to go into Fire, that's this red that everybody was so crazy about when this palette was first released. So we're going to go into that, I already cut the crease with a little bit of Catrice Liquid Camouflage, just to give me a base, and I'm going to go into that red and put it all over the lid and pack it as good as I can. Okay guys, so that is on there. It is pigmented as always. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line now before I sneak off to do the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna take fire again and I'm gonna put it in my lower lash line. Okay, and now that I have that on here, I am going to take my Morphe brush again, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that very first color, Universal, that we used, and buff this out so it's not too harsh. Okay, guys, so now it's time for me to sneak off of here and finish these eyes out, and I will be right back. 
Okay guys, so I am finished up with this look. I went ahead and added a little gold in these inner corners. And I know this look is kind of rough today. Sorry y'all, but I wanted to play with this 3502. It's been a while. And as always, I love it. And I wanted to give y'all something a little more red than what I usually do. And I've never tried to do like a matte cut crease and obviously I still need work. But we trial and we error and that's what matters. So uh, that is going to be it for today. Uh, thanks again, you guys. I finally passed a thousand subscribers and the giveaway will be very soon if we can get crate funds. They're 5,000. And yeah, that is it for today and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, you guys.